So today, I want to pit the Firehawk FX pedal board head to head against the Podgo pedal board. What is up, Yoshis? My name is Beth, and I run Steadfast Descent. And let's just get into this by looking at some stats. A Firehawk new is 400 bucks, and a Podgo new is like 500 bucks. Used in great condition on musicians, friend. You can get the Firehawk for 269 dollars, which is a steal, and you can get the Podgo used great for 349. So in every way, shape, or form. The Firehawk is going to be cheaper. However, you can still get the Podgo for less than you can get a new Firehawk. In terms of weight, the Firehawk is twice as heavy as the Podgo. And this is a bit of a bummer if you do a lot of traveling, but if you just leave your pedal board wherever you play, so for example, I might leave my pedal board at my church, then it's not really a big deal. Although if you are flying, the Podgo is definitely going to be a better option for you because it takes up less weight and less space. But that is one thing about the Firehawk that I actually prefer much better is that because it's much bigger and it is heavier, it has more hardware. You actually have so many options on the back of your board for if you want an XLR output or if you want a quarter inch output or if you want the USB output or all of the things and you can do left and right in all of the different ways. So I really think the Firehawk was actually better because you have more options of how you want your sound to go out. Pod Go has out channels, but they're only quarter inch channels. It has mono, it has stereo, it has an amp out option actually, and it also has the ability to input analog pedals into your board setup, which you may or may not find actually super useful. Both of these pedal boards stand alone perfectly well in terms of sound though. So in my opinion, the Firehawk sound is better out of the box, but the Podgo sound is more editable and you can get it closer to the sounds you are actually trying to make. But that's enough about the stats. Let's actually take a listen for ourselves to these two pedal boards and then you can decide. Tell me in the comments which one you actually like better. videos about these boards so let me know which one you thought was better and if you have more questions neither of them are helixes but they both bring a lot to the table and for the price you're getting a really good deal no matter which one you get links are in the description to continue your explorations and before you go consider liking and subscribing thanks